Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, then a warm welcome to my channel. Before we get into the video, I want to wish you guys a very, very happy, prosperous, and safe Diwali. So, when you talk about Diwali, what is the first memory that comes to your mind? Pause this video right now. Go to the comment section and comment below. So when you talk about Diwali or when you just say Diwali, two things come to my mind. The first thing is me trying to put out all the crackers that my sister would have just, uh, you know, finished bursting. So she is the daredevil in the family and she's eight years older than me. So she usually bursts all these crackers and my work used to be, uh, you know, these kids get these uh, artificial injections with uh, the doctor playset, right? So I used to have a mug of water with me and I used to have that uh, syringe with me. So every time she's done uh, bursting crackers and she's put it in one big pile in one corner, I used to take water in the syringe and I used to go and do s s s on those uh, crackers and just, uh, you know, putting them out. So that's the first memory that comes to my mind. Akka, I know if you're watching this, ha ha ha. Uh, the second thing is my mom making a lot of snacks. So she used to start preparing all the snacks maybe a week uh, ahead of Diwali and every day used to be some new snack or some new sweet and it used to be so yummy she used to make mixture muruku gulab jamun oh my god that, that used to be her signature sweet she used to make a lot of stuff seven cupcakes I think the list is just endless mothers usually make so much right so yeah I never thought that you know I would come to a situation where where you know family expects me to make sweets and savories not that anyone expected me to make but uh, just saying you know theoretically so now that I'm married uh, there is an expectation that you know I may I'll make some new sweets and new snacks and all that and now since I'm all about health I wanted to bring you guys four recipes so I have two sweet recipes and two savory recipes today and uh, I made all these recipes with three things in mind one is the current situation so the availability of the ingredients two is uh, the cost of the ingredients so even if uh, it might sound a little fancy the name of the ingredients it's not going to cost you more than 150 to 200 rupees so two is that and three is no compromise on taste so there's no added sugar there's no white sugar there's no oil there's nothing of those sorts in the recipes that i'm going to show you there's no deep frying nothing like that but uh, they're still going to taste so amazing they're super good for your health and they require minimum ingredients and trust me when i say this you can make these four recipes in under 15 minutes yes you heard me right you can make this in under 15 minutes and you can go have fun in your diwali you can go have fun with your family and you can spend time with them so without further ado let's get into the video but before that do not forget to press that red subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so without further ado let's get into the video so the first recipe is my absolute absolute favorite from all, from all the four recipes that i'm about to show you today so the first recipe is cornflakes shivra who doesn't like cornflakes yes yeah so everyone loves cornflakes i'm a very big fan of the plain cornflakes that you get and uh, this is you know to replace the traditional mixture that uh, south indians make during uh, diwali so that takes a lot of effort my mom literally spends like two days literally to you know press all those uh, items into pakoda and omapuri and all those items into fresh oil heat hot oil and then make it fresh and then break them and then make the mixture it's it's just a tedious amount of work so instead you can just whip this up in 15 minutes and you can call it a day it's going to be super amazing it's going to taste so yummy so let's check out the recipe
recipe number two is masala makhana. Makhana is nothing but lotus seeds. In Tamil, it's called tamare vidai. So they're super amazing for your health. They're so beneficial. They have a lot of nutrients in them. And they are a little on the expensive side. So about 100 grams of makhana is gonna cost you maybe 100, 120 rupees, but it's so yummy. So you just need like 15 minutes to make this dish. And uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, all these recipes take only 15 minutes of your time. So you can like literally in an hour, if you have all the ingredients ready on the table, in an hour, you can make all the four recipes and you can be done for Diwali in just one hour. So without further ado, let's get into the video and check out the recipe. The third recipe is the first sweet recipe actually. So we're done with two savouries and now we're on to sweet recipes. So the first sweet recipe or basically the third recipe in the video is oats laddu. Who doesn't like oats? I am a big fan of oats now but when I was a kid I, I used to hate oats. So my mom used to feed me ragi kanji or uh, you know what is it called ragi porridge telling it's chocolate milk because it looks like chocolate milk. And oats, I never used to go near oats because I felt like, you know, there were a lot of, uh, I don't know, grainy items in my mouth, which I didn't like. I used to like smooth items. So, and I used to like oats as a kid, but now I love oats. You give me oats in any form and I, I just gobble it up. So I was wondering what kind of sweets I can do. And that's when I came up with this oats laddu. It's super easy to make, doesn't have any sugar, no white sugar whatsoever. It's made with pure jaggery. So it's super easy to make, it's super yummy, it's super, super healthy. I can't stress this enough. Actually, all the four recipes are super healthy. So you do need to give this a try. So yeah, let's go check out the recipe.
final recipe is one of the easiest actually the easiest of all the four recipes that i've showed here and you only require two ingredients that's it two ingredients and you're done with this sweet you need 10 minutes of your time and two ingredients and you'll end up with super yummy peanut peda yes you heard me right it's peanut peda so you'll need two ingredients you just got to mix them up in the mixer grinder and you just got to hold them into whatever shapes that you want and you'll have your peda with you so yeah without further ado let's check out the recipe So yeah with that we've come to the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe and I really hope you'll try them out and let me know in the comment section how they turned out do share your pictures with me on Instagram I would love to see them out so I hope you all have a safe Diwali please don't burst crackers they're not good for pets but yeah uh, have a safe Diwali have a prosperous Diwali have fun with your family spend a lot of time with them because you never know when you're going to get this time back right so yeah uh what is do i want to say as usual don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, press the notification bell right next to it ellarkum iniya diwali nalvaarthukal and uh, all of you have a safe and sound diwali i love you guys 